Today is Wednesday, and we start off our day at the East Orange VA Clinic. Hey folks, good guy Glenn here, and today we're at the East Orange VA Clinic where I started acupuncture. Went pretty well, and uh, we're gonna talk about it and go on a little adventure today. So like I said, start acupuncture today. I had done acupuncture in the past and it worked very well, but um, you know, acupuncture costs money. Then I found out about the wellness center here at the VA hospital in East Orange, and uh, I found out that you could get acupuncture here as a veteran, and that's something I never even knew existed. I'm really glad I found out about it. Like many people, I got a lot of stress in my life. The last two years haven't helped with the whole entire thing that's been going on. And it's not just the one situation. It's like all the situations. We've had a very tumultuous time in this country since 2020. A lot of stress. Going into a recession. I feel like we're already in a recession. So I find myself with, you know, TMJ. And of course I had that ear problem. I've gone to see a bunch of doctors about it. I'm on allergy shots. And, and that's when I found out about the uh, acupuncture at the wellness center at the VA. First of all, I didn't even know what the wellness center was. And I learned all about that and all the programs they provide there. And it's like pretty awesome. I gotta say, I've said it in the past, the VA is give and take. They cut a lot of programs for veterans, but there's still some really good programs there. I don't know what to make of it, and I try to take advantage of everything I can while I can. I strongly suggest any veterans out there, go out, find out what's available to you, because you've earned, you've earned it. Now, there have been times where I've been very critical of the VA. When something's not right, I like to point it out. Someone's got to advocate for veterans. And if you don't advocate for yourself, no one's going to advocate for you. This sometimes leads people to think that we're complaining or ungrateful. And it's just not the way it is. It's just pointing out things that could be better. So, we're trying to unlock my TMJ and a lot of my stress tension that's in my face and in my body. And I think she did a pretty good job today because I could feel a sensation in my jaw and ear. It's funny how everything's connected. It's funny how I've been going to see an ENT about my ear situation when really maybe this alternative treatment was the way to go all along. I can't even express the feeling I feel right now. Once the needles were removed, I could feel the spots where the tension has been. And of course, I'm going back for a follow-up treatment and eventually this should help. A lot of people are afraid of acupuncture because they stick long needles into your body. But when I tell you, and this is not me being a hero, I'm not a fan of needles either, but when I tell you that you don't even feel them, you don't. You don't feel them. They're so thin. The gauge of the needle is so thin. And a good acupuncturist just knows what they're doing. The woman, Rhoda, who did my acupuncture today, she's been doing it for over 20 years. She's awesome. It's really cool, like, how the whole process works. And you lay there for 30 minutes or so, and you just meditate. And I try to just think positive thoughts and 
I guess today I was thinking through some issues that I've got going on, but I tried to keep it positive. And that's the whole entire thing. And that's what I think I've been telling you guys since I started this channel. Is with all the bad things that have been happening, I decided, I made a conscious decision that life is too short and I'm on a quest to try to like better my life. And in doing so, I'm learning a lot about myself and I'm learning. I don't have any clear answers. And sometimes people take like what I've been doing as of late in a negative way. It's not a negative way. If you don't understand, then it's not my job to explain to you. I don't want to get like super involved in negativity because I feel like just talking about negative people brings negativity. But if I call you out on something you're doing wrong, your first gut reaction is to point the finger at me and say that I want to be angry or I want to hold on to something or I want to make a big deal out of something that's not. If you're disrespectful to me, then me pointing it out to you, that's not being negative or being angry. Contrary to what, like, may be thought, I'm not really thinking much about it past the fact that I've cut you off. I've given a lot of people a lot of chances, but when they continuously fill themselves with negativity, negative actions, negative consequences, I just don't, you know, see a need to continue down that road. I'm not a saint, I'm not an angel, I'm not perfect, far from it. That's why I do the things I do to try to better myself. I'm trying to be a better person through diet, spirituality, and just taking care of myself, and people just are negative about it, and, you know, I'm not doing it for anyone else, I'm doing it for myself. If you've ever seen a Weird Al video, Fat, and in the beginning, when the guy's like, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, yo. And he's like, yo, where you been lately? We haven't seen you, you know, like all this because the dude's been at Weight Watchers like trying to lose weight. The Weird Al character. And then he's like, you ain't fat, man. You ain't fat. You ain't nothing. That's like real. I don't preach about my diet. I don't at all. It's just that like I don't eat till two o'clock. So thanks for inviting me to lunch at 11. But I unfortunately... I'm either going to go with you and just drink water or I'm not going to go at all and make it weird. I don't preach about what I do. I'm totally fine with going out with people and not eating. Like we can spend time if it's a social thing where, you know, you don't have to get offended. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that I'm trying to just do better for myself. And people often take that the wrong way. It's not meant to be that way. You know, we all make jokes about vegans and like, uh, how about vegans try to preach to you. And it's true. Like a lot of vegans, they have to let you know. But like, they're trying, they're, they're just trying to express themselves. They might be passionate about it. I get it. But I would never force my beliefs on anyone. Like everyone's got to find their own way, man. If I've learned anything in this life, if I've learned anything from having kids, it's that you can never make people do the right thing. They either have to come to that realization themselves or suffer the consequences. So where to begin to start the end? I lost about 30 minutes worth of footage today. I shot all morning. We went on a little walk and talk. We talked about veterans and their advocacy. 
and veterans when they get into a bad dark place I'm gonna have to go back into that in another video I can't recreate the video that I lost it sucks this is what happens when you deal with GoPro GoPros are notorious for losing their footage or you shoot the footage and there's no sound which is what happens today yet again that's frustrating um, sometimes moments just, just can't be recreated especially when you're on vacation or if you're in an amusement park but what can you do this is what happens with GoPro and their janky firmware so now we're at Popeye's waiting for our food to be delivered out like I said earlier I'm not sure what was covered what recorded what didn't record but I went I got my acupuncture they stuck the long needles into my face into my legs into my wrists and it felt really cool I meditated covered all that I think we got that I want veterans to know that they're not alone that there is help for them that there are services out there for you if you ever feel desperate in need call the veterans crisis hotline if you ever need medical attention or possibly some therapy reach out to your nearest VA and I even if you don't have a way to get there they'll find a way to provide transportation for you to get there if you don't know how to get started or you have any questions you could even reach out to me and I'll help you the best I can leave a comment below and I'll see if I can find you a VA rep that can help you out we gotta take care of each other out there and know that you're never alone okay there's always people out there who've been through what you've been through and there's someone to talk to with that being said I don't want to bring this down but I just really think it needed to be covered if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so when I drop another video you get a notification once again this is good guy Glenn at Popeyes thanks for watching